Well, hello. So today we're going to talk about body shaming and world peace. I'm trying to lump two subjects together, see what it means, what comes out of it. So body shaming, it's an issue. It's an issue in this day and age. People shame one another for their bodies. Hopefully by the time in the future, you by the time you see this in the future, then there will be no more body shaming and everybody will accept each other for their bodies and who they are. Why is it important to accept one another for who we are? It is important to accept one another so we can, we already judge ourselves. When we look outwards into the world and we see things uh, of how we wish to be. I mean, I go to the gym every other day at least, and I've been trying to go to the gym every day just so that I can bulk up and maybe lose a little bit more fat. Uh, and people are like, you don't look fat at all. Like, I know, but to me, I do, you know, you know how that works. So I've been eating healthier and I was questioning all of those elements. It's like, what is more important to me, my looks or my health? Wow. And the deep, and the, if I want to be honest, I would have to say my looks because for instance, you know, there's these amazing burritos, freeze dried burritos that are not good for me. And they're, they, but they're high in protein, and I will eat them because it's a quick snack. You know, I went to the gym. I worked out a lot. It's a quick snack. It's got high protein. So I'll do something along those lines. Um, and that is a psychological element that I need to address. When, you know, you work out more than two, three times a day, when you're throwing up, when you are, the question becomes the gradient. When you want to fit into that dress, why do you want to fit into that dress? For whom is it that you're fitting into that dress for? Are you fitting into that dress for yourself or are you fitting into that dress for somebody else? I have an idea of what I want to look like. So I go to the gym because I have an idea of what I want to look like based on what I already have received body-wise. Uh, is it, and even within that gradation, is there a health aspect that I need to be addressing? So, yes, and I, the our answer would be, of course, of course. Um, so body shaming. You know, the other day my friend had a post uh, and she put something on there about working out and somebody went after her, not went after her, but said, you know, men don't like women to be so buff. And my reply was, whatever she wants to look like, it's whatever she wants to look like. Whether she wants to look like a giant ball or like a tiny thing or like a stick or whatever she wants to look like, I think whatever she wants to look like, that's her soul within her body. Who am I to say what she should or should not look like? Now, when it comes into the issue of health, uh, when it comes into the issue of psychology and health, when you care about somebody, you want to, of course, be able to, you know, when someone has an eating disorder, uh, one way or the other, whether they eat a lot or whether they don't eat enough, uh, you, a person definitely wants to be able to address those particular issues. And how do you address them? Once again, will you be heard? Do you love the person unconditionally? And does it need to be said? So it may fit into, does it need to be said, but will you be heard? And do you love the person unconditionally? So those are the questions that I think that we need to ask ourselves specifically when we're dealing with a situation. Because sometimes we can say something and the doors will close. And we don't know the magnitude of the doors that are. We don't know the strength of the doors. So maybe and when and if the doors may open up again. So it's about knowing how to guide yourself within that situation in regards to body shaming. Uh, I think that shaming somebody because of the way they look is not a positive thing. It's not a positive thing. Addressing the health risks of an individual uh, based on their lifestyle, that, those, that comes into a psychological friend atmosphere. And then that comes into... You know, you're not going to have a, if you're a complete stranger saying something to somebody, that's just rude. If you're a friend, a long, long, long time friend, and you're doing an intervention because this person has shown to have a problem, that's a different story. So what do you think about the issue of body shaming? Have you ever been body shamed? Uh, I feel awkward sometimes, you know, I don't, I have an extra tool, and I wear glasses. Usually most of the time, these are my glasses. Most of the time I wear glasses. I do not wear them for you because uh, it has a, there's a glare. We can be infinite together. Infinite together. I see monkeys. 
and I see like, what do I see? Oh, I see myself. Oh, and I see myself again. Wow. Isn't that cool, huh? Isn't that a cool little effect? I wonder if people had ever sat there and been like, you just stare at yourself over and over again and see what you find in the infiniteness of mirror with a mirror. I'm sure they have, right? I'm sure they have. You can see the glare of my eye, like that my third eye is open in the other infinite universes as well. This is really powerful, actually, if you think about it. So that was the left, which is the right, and that was the right, which is the left. So interesting stuff. Thank you, and I wish you a wonderful year. Oh, world peace. We forgot about world peace. I was going to say world peace. What am I going to say about world peace? Well, if you want world peace, you have to retweet world peace and make it a world trending topic. That's what I recommend. Recommend to retweet and send that out there. I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful year.